<laughs> in addition to my my day job as being a trial lawyer with the law firm of Sheridan Goldmark and Bender, I also conduct uh, diversity trainings and trainings on civility. The trainings on civility primarily focus on uh, civility and the practice of law, and that's mm -hmm. through the uh, through the efforts of Seattle University and Robert's Fund for Civility uh, with my dear friend and former professor uh, Paula Lusbader. And there we we talk about self care. We talk about how it is that we interact with other lawyers, and we also have discussions about how we can make sure that the practice is the best practice that we can be engaged in as leaders in our community. As it relates to my diversity trainings, I have another uh, side job, if you will, and that's through my company called Invictus, uh, the Invictus Project. And there I travel around the country and do presentations and also conduct uh, diversity trainings uh, to have a conversation about race. That is my, my primary aim, is to be in large settings, be in small settings, to engage in a conversation about race where many times it's the first opportunity uh, that people have had a chance to talk about race uh, in a mixed setting. Uh, so it's extremely challenging work, uh, but uh, it's rewarding nonetheless. So this conversation that you have across the country, is that primarily with lawyers and judges or is it with a broader audience? It's a much broader audience. I've oh. conducted the trainings with police departments, with community mm -hmm. groups. Uh, I have a long time and long standing engagement with the school district in uh, Clovis, California, uh, mm -hmm. where I go down twice a year and we have trainings with all the leadership in the school district to have a conversation about race and then talk about how it is that race influences mm -hmm. uh, the education system and all the different systems uh, in which we are a part of as community members in this country. And how long have you been doing this consulting and advocating and bringing awareness about this issue? Uh, in a formal setting, by way of my company, about seven years. And what has that conversation been like in the last seven years that you observe? Can you share your perspective on that? Uh, from my own perspective, uh, it's amazing for me. Again, it's exhausting, but it's amazing to be engaged in these conversations mm -hmm. where if we're in a room of 70 people, uh, and many of them are, uh, it's mandatory attendance. We mm -hmm. are there in the training and at the beginning of the day, everyone's tense, they're nervous. Uh, they are fearful because they know we are going to engage in a seven hour uh, long conversation about race. Uh -huh. But yet at the end of the day, because the conversation is a civil conversation that's rooted in fact and sprinkled in with anecdotes of my own personal uh, journey through this country as a black man, mm -hmm. uh, we have amazing conversation. We gain great insight from each other. And then we move forward with hope and inspiration that we can continue to have civil conversations about race, which is much right. needed in this country. <laughs> it's fun.